Hey guys, we're back in the lab and this week we're reviewing, or should I say introducing, because I've bought this little bit of kit and um, you can get them out there, relatively cheap. It's called the Zep app. And it's a really interesting little device that I think uh, that you might get some value out of if you need to keep an eye on some of the parameters of your swing. Um, so let's kind of jump in and uh, see what the little thing does. So what's the Zep app? It's pretty small. It's a little, little jobby like this. There we go, it's about that size. It's quite nice and it clips onto your glove. And then what it does is it tracks through an app on a phone or a pad. It tracks movement of your hand um, and relates it to your swing plane, your club head speed, and loads of different parameters just by hitting the golf club. It also does lots of other things. It can track how you're playing out on the golf course, which is quite fun. And you can also do a bit of a GPS, which a lot of these uh, type apps do have. Um, it's not hugely expensive. You can pick these up for about 70 to 100 pounds if you want to buy a new one they're about 150 pounds i think um, but it gives you a lot of information and i think if you're gonna spend some money on something to improve your game th this is not too bad depending on what you're trying to change and what you're trying to look at it's a good little device let's give it a whirl so so it comes with a little charging cable like this and it just fits in the top there and plugs usb into a plug or into your laptop or whatever and then you charge this little device up and then this clips to your glove. I've already lost the clip. So what I do is I just sort of stick it on the inside of my glove, like so, and it's fine, there it is. You don't even know it's there, it's, it's absolutely fine. Uh, but if, you, if you've got the clip, it just clips on the outside of your glove and you're off and running. So what's it do? It tracks lots of different parameters of your golf swing, uh, just through the motion inside of this. So I'm going to go through a few of the features in which I would use this app and which I would suggest anybody who's trying to improve their golf swing technically um, would use and what it's really useful. And there's one unique part about it which I've not seen on any other app just yet. So to start off with we can do an evaluation of either 10 swings or 3 swings. And that's pretty straightforward. You just sync up the device to your phone. That just takes a second. Um, you connect it to the Bluetooth, which it sends out. So that's all fine. And once that's done, we can leave that alone. It does stay connected quite well. I've had it drop out a few times, but it's uh, it's kind of only a second or two to reset it. So that's uh, I can just about live with that. So it will evaluate your swing. So you're going to put in your parameters and you may say that you want your club head speed to be a certain amount. So let's say, um, for me, if it's with a driver, I like to stay around the 115 mark. If I'm around there, I'm kind of swinging okay. So if I put my driver club head speed or swing speed at um, 115, it will give me a percentage based on that. And likewise, we can go down how long your backswing may be, um, maybe your um, swing plane or hand path. You can set all these different parameters. You kind of get used to it before, because a lot of these um, swing parameters, I've never had any experience with either, some of, the, uh, some of the ones. Certainly when we get down to things like hip rotation and, uh, and some of those aspects. So we'll set those parameters and we can work out what is uh, what they suggest what, uh, say, a tour player would be and how to try and achieve that as well with these nifty little lessons. I'm purely looking at this in the technical swing development area. Uh, I'm going to steer away from the other parts of the app. There's a lot involved. I will mention some of the bits later, but I'm not going to deep dive into those. But we are going to deep dive into this one. So if you're interested in getting this app um, and to try and track your swing and help you get better, sometimes with the help of your pro, sometimes with the help of the lessons that are built into the app, then stay along. So on the first page, we're going to open it up. Once you've hit your evaluation shots, you can have three evaluation shots or 10. Uh, maybe if you've got the time, just hit 10. And then it will evaluate your swing. And based on the parameters that you put into it, so uh, depend, because it doesn't know what level you are, and we don't all want to be compared with a Toro Pro, because a Toro Pro is going to swing at 120 miles an hour, and maybe you're 75 and you only swing it at sort of 60 miles an hour. 
but you would want to be as good as you can be. So you might you might swing it at 60 miles an hour now and think, oh, I'd like to be maybe 80, or maybe I'd like to be what my mate is and get your mate on it and that kind of thing. So you can give yourself little goals, small increments that you can work up to. So you're going to get your parameters. And once they're in, these are the ones that we can go by. So top left, we've got the score. Uh, and that is the overall, from all the parameters that you've set, that's the overall score that it's going to give you. Obviously, this is going to drop dependent on some of your weaker links. Then we've got club head speed. That's always a good one at the moment. Everybody's going on about club head speed. They all want to be faster. They all want to be longer. So that's quite a nice one to keep a track of. So we're going to, uh, that one's our second one. Then we've got club plane. Now that's quite interesting. Um, the plane, once you see it in a 3D mode, which I'll talk about in a bit, um, it's quite nice to see the plane of your swing and see where it is, how upright, how under, how over you are. It's quite a nice, uh, obviously we want to try and get that a little bit under on the way down, possibly level on the way back. You'll get the gist of this when I show you that little section in a minute. Then we've got hand plane. Hand plane is quite interesting because obviously it's predicting how long the shaft is uh, once you've set in the parameters of I'm hitting a seven iron or a six iron. And so this is quite good because it's solely going to just do your hands and what your hands are doing. Obviously your club's attached to your hands so that is a nice help as well. So it's nice to see where your hand's going. Then we've got tempo. Tempo's a nice one as well. We want, um, I think it's a three to one tempo. So that's three on the way back and one on the way through. Obviously quicker on the way through and on the way back. Um, so that's quite nice. If you've got a particularly fast swing, then it's, it's nice to be aware of it. Sometimes it doesn't allow for your body to catch up because you're jumping at it a bit too much. Slower on the way back and fast on the way down, that's great because we're storing our energy and then we're exploding. Hopefully the golf club accelerating throughout the golf swing to hit the golf ball. So that's the kind of area we're gonna go. So three to one, that's a good standard for pretty much everybody. And then we've got backswing length. So when you get to the top of your backswing, you want to be parallel across the top there. Parallel is about 270 degrees. This is a really nice one, especially if you're getting maybe a little bit older and you don't even realize you're starting to swing shorter. Sometimes it's just a state of mind. It's just the case that you get up there and you, you think that's high enough, but it actually isn't, but you could go further. So this is a really good one with the backswing. Um, and they kind of have proved that a longer backswing generally instigates greater club head speed. So that longer backswing is always nice to maintain, try and keep it up there, and then maybe do some exercises to stay supple enough to get the club into that position at the top. So the backswing is a really good one as well. Then we've got hand speed. Obviously the hand speed we can work on, that's a little bit easier to predict than the actual club head speed. So hand speed is a nice one to keep an, a close eye on as well. And this plots that really well because it is actually attached to our hand. So it's uh, getting a really accurate reading from the little gadget that's attached to our glove there. And then a really interesting one, if you put your phone in your left pocket, it will give you hip rotation. Obviously our hips are something that drives all the rest of our swing. And so if our hips are short or don't swing as much or maybe open up too much on the way back and not enough on the way through, this for me and generally for the better players is a good one to keep an eye on because you can get quite lazy with the hips and it affects everything in the rest of the swing. And I've not seen uh, any apps. I mean, you can look at things like Trackman and GC Quad and all these fancy simulators and launch monitors. None of them actually track your hips. So I know you can get K-Vest, uh, but that's a very expensive piece of kit, which generally uh, sort of golf pros have. But this is a really good indication of where your hips are going. It's not going to be as accurate as the K-Vest, but it gives you a really good idea of what your hips are doing on the way back and what the hips are doing on the way through. So, uh, so I love that and I think that one, I think that one is unique to these kind of apps. I'm going to be reviewing quite a few of these over the coming weeks because I think everybody's interested in the, the technical abilities of their swing and if it's moving or not and this one is great. So that's kind of the parameters that we got. We've got a visual view of this in the 3D mode and the 3D mode's great because you hit your shot and you can literally spin around this uh, 3D figure that it generates and you can see the parameters of your golf swing and what these numbers actually mean. Because some people don't like dealing with numbers. They like to actually see what the club's doing, where the club's going and relate that to a number. So if we said, oh, my pass come in I'm from in to out too much or maybe my backswing's not quite long enough, you can actually see where it's stopping on, on this cute little man. So the first thing to do when you get this app, obviously open it up. I'm connected, my little jobby's on here. And I'm gonna go for the instant evaluation. Pop that down. Three swing evaluation. Let's hit that one. 
stick them in the pocket so you don't have to have it in your pocket you can put it on the floor but it won't get your hip readings I'm just gonna hit three balls and it'll do a quick evaluation of my swing should be there you go got that one So here's my report, uh, score of 91, pretty good. Club head speed, that's dang, but um, I don't feel I'm swinging it particularly fast because I've not warmed up yet. Uh, but we've got the club plane. Can you see that the way it's uh, minus 18? Hand plane minus three. Tempo's perfect, 311, that's great. Uh, 281, that's good. 270 is at the top of the backswing. Anything that and a little bit longer is great. Hips, 31 on the backswing, 19 on the downswing. 19 miles an hour hand speed um, so that's all good so what I'm looking at here is obviously the highlighted ones the green ones are all good they're hitting your targets or better what I'm looking at here is the club plane so that's minus 18 now this is a problem uh, that most people don't have um, unless you're a better player and that is minus 18 um, normally it's a plus it's in the red there so a plus would be uh, over the top and the 80 and the minus would be underneath the swing there okay so um, that is actually a bit too much under so I'm shallowing that off just slightly too much uh, so what I'm going to do now to compensate for that is I'm going to instead of instead of um, trying to sort of hoik my hands over the top that way I'm just going to go to the top and I'm si simply going to turn my hips a bit more which will get me into that position a little bit easier um, so that's what I'll do and I'll see if it makes any difference now. I'll do a one swing, so that's quite good. All those other bits are great. Tempo is absolutely perfect. Backswing is pretty good and the score is pretty good. Consistency. <laughs> Consistency is good. <laughs> it's 100% and 90%. Well, but I expect that. I mean, I've been playing all my life. Hit a lot of shots. So uh, I expect my swing to be very, very uh, consistent, if nothing else. So let's try and change that. So club plane. Okay, so I'll go out of that and I'm going to go out of that and I'm going to go into this 3D swing. Swing now, put it in my pocket. See if I can just change that in one shot. I'm going to try and get to the top here and I'm going to turn my hips a little bit quicker, which will just shift that plane. See how we go. I think I turn that a bit quicker. There we go, perfect. That'll be exactly what I need there. Okay, so my tempo's still good. My backswing just about spot on there. My club plane is now good. I would want it to be between sort of nine and zero. I do want it to be from the inside. The hand plane is perfect there. So there you go, I just sorted myself out in one shot. And this is the sort of thing you can do. Obviously I know my swing. I've had enough coaching over the years. I know the intricacies of my own swing. So I, I still recommend you go out and uh, get some coaching because then you're going to know your swing but you can evaluate it through this and you can see if you're actually doing it with numbers. So another great thing with this is you don't even have to have a, a lab or a net or even have to hit a golf ball. So I just put the swing analysis in there and I'll turn my club around let's just say you're in your kitchen and maybe we're working on speed sticks. So I'm just going to go okay take a look and there we go, 98 mile an hour and uh, you know you can work on your club plane and path even with that or you can just swing a club with the head so that's really good working on speed and also because a lot of those things with the speed sticks can throw your swings off an awful lot so with this you could swing a speed stick and see what plane you're on and see how you're holding your figures and how you're holding your numbers. I think that's great and I, I think that's quite rare as well. So that's just a small part of the ZEP app. We've also got all the other features. Um, you can go on a golf course and you can plot your round. Don't think that's quite so good, uh, but it does plot your swings as well and it keeps them stored. You can also connect with other people around the world, which is good fun, connecting in and out if you like that um, sort of competition against other people, maybe of, of the same kind of standard as yourself. Any of the parameters on there that you're setting, like the length of backswing, or maybe club head speed, or a path, there's four or five professional lessons 
uh, connected with that. So if you're confused at what it should be and how it should change or what it even means, you can just click the button. As long as you've got some internet connection, maybe you're at home or using three or four G, um, you just click that and it will give you a lesson on that specific parameter and a couple of tips on how you can improve it yourself. So that's amazing and the videos are superb. When we look at the backswing one, that's such a great one to kind of master. It's quite easy to try and get a little bit more flexibility in your body, maybe push yourself a little bit further and that will just give you added swing speed. This is one of the examples that comes with it. There's over a hundred different videos for you to choose from. So you just click on each of them and you can find a nice drill that suits the way that you swing and the way that you might try and progress yourself to go forward. So check this one out. Measuring your backswing is important because it has a direct effect on club speed and distance. Most golfers have backswings that are consistently too short, but if you can increase your backswing, you're gonna generate more power. Let's dig in. Backswing position is simply the angle that your club shaft travels between a dress and the top of your backswing. A backswing of 270 degrees means that your club shaft ends up parallel to the ground right before you start your downswing. Professional golfers typically reach the ideal 270 degree backswing on every full swing. Most amateurs, however, fall somewhere short between 230 and 250 degrees. This is especially true as we age because we tend to lose flexibility. A quick tip to improve is to take a few practice swings using the app and check out your backswing numbers. Now work on hitting that 270 degree position and get a sense for what it feels like. If you can't reach 270 degrees, then focus on adding 10 to 20 degrees to your current swing. When you start practicing with a bigger swing, it may feel a bit out of control at first, and you may even miss a few balls. But stick with it. In the long run, you'll add both speed and distance to your golf shots. So I kind of think it's a really worthwhile bit of kit, depending on what you're working on. Some people don't like seeing all these figures and numbers and just like maybe seeing a video themselves. Uh, but to be honest with you, I think it's really good because you get instant feedback. Um, like I showed you there, that wasn't set up at all. I could see that my, my path was out and so I changed it with one movement. Obviously I'm used to doing this and a bit more skilled and aware of, of my swing. Uh, but even for you guys, if you're trying to do any kind of length of the backswing or if you're trying to maybe just swing it a bit faster, there's some good tips in there with the videos, some good feedback for you to go through. And uh, I think it's a good little bit of kit. Not expensive either. I'm not endorsed or sponsored whatsoever so um, feel free to go out and grab one if you've already got one write down below what you think of it and uh, and if you're still having good fun and if it's helped you uh, if you've not got one and thinking about it I can help you find one uh, there's going to be some links down below of uh, the main company and perhaps I'll try and find some places where they're still selling them um, but I think you really enjoy it um, give it a go I think it's a good little bit of kit I certainly enjoyed it and uh, I think I'm going to continue to use it. It's so easy to set up and it's so easy to give yourself those parameters. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, loads of reviews coming up and so please uh, like the video if you liked it, uh, but maybe subscribe and come and see us once again here uh, at Carter Smith Golf. See you next week.